Look what she's wearing. Isn't that funny? <laughs> so if we're gonna be making videos every day for you during this crazy time, then you're gonna have to get used to me wearing a onesie. Okay, this is my little unicorn onesie and I feel like it really comforts me. So that's what I'm gonna wear. Today is all about what we are uh, eating. Okay, so it's uh, basically, I'm gonna show you guys what we had for breakfast. This is a really easy recipe, which if you want to know how to make, you can always leave a comment down below and let me know so that I will make it for you. So this is what I made for Greg and I for breakfast. And this is also my post-workout meal. So you see all this chocolate goodness over here? That's made with pureed coconuts, tofu and avocado mixed up in the food processor with some maple syrup goodness. And then I, t and then I added chia seeds and I added buckwheat and some strawberries and some bananas. So there's a lot of ingredients in here, a lot of nutrients. I'm so excited to dig in. And I get the big one. Yeah, and it's high she protein gets, too. She the small one, I get the big one. I think per bowl, we're looking at about maybe 13 grams or 15 grams of protein per bowl. Okay, so I have these strawberry greens here that I'm not gonna throw away because these are organic strawberries. And I'm gonna put these in the freezer or in the fridge and have them in my next smoothie because they're so rich in nutrients. So now it's lunchtime and we are going to be having some falafels, some biryani rice, and some chickpea salad. Now this is a sprouted chickpea salad and I'm gonna be making my own mayonnaise dressing for this and it's gonna be, I'm gonna add some red peppers and parsley and it's just gonna be delicious. So let's get to it. It's a lot of stuff. So the first thing we're making is the biryani and I'm gonna go ahead and add some olive oil to my pot. Quite a bit of olive oil actually. And to it, I'm gonna be adding it's a lot of stuff. Yes, a cinnamon stick, some cumin seeds, some chili, and some garlic and ginger. And we're just gonna let that sizzle. While she's making the food, let me just say a few things. Oh, it smells so good in here. Let me just cover your face. <laughs> Why? <laughs> anyway, this coronavirus thing is actually pretty serious, so, Everybody should stay home as much as possible, right? Because even if you like, even if you're healthy and you're young and like nothing's gonna happen to you, you can still transmit it like to other people, like old people who are like, the, or people who like their immune system is not well. Like so, if you have asthma. Yeah. So so you know even if you if you're gonna be fine, you know people around you are not gonna be fine. So everybody should stay home as much as possible. Like this thing is serious. Stock you know? up and stay home as much as possible. Yeah. So we actually read this morning that the virus might be airborne, right? Is that what you read? Uh, there, uh, no, that's wrong. Okay, keep talking about it. I'm adding in the carrots and the onions. Mm. I just read a study that says that uh, the virus could have a potential to stay airborne, to remain airborne, but they're saying that it's very highly unlikely. They just found some traces in, in Wuhan, in China, that it could be possible. So nobody really knows. I mean, things keep changing all the time. Like, Which is scary. Yeah, like day to day, there's new like new things that they find out about it. And Honestly, that's the know. scariest thing. Cause, because we're, our knowledge about this virus is limited. So if something changes, which things are changing all the time. So if you go to the grocery store, and then suddenly they find out that it's airborne. Yeah. Like you can get it, you know? So please yeah. just be safe. And, and uh, well, one more thing, actually, actually quite important. Even if it wasn't airborne or whatever, like the number one thing is don't walk in the house with your shoes. Yeah. Because you're walking around. The, you know, the virus could be on the floor or somewhere like like living there for like an hour or two and then you walk on it yeah. and it gets on your shoe and then you walk in the house and you bring it in. Yeah. And also like take your clothes off when you go to the house, like take, take them off, clothes, wash them. Put them in the wash, leave yeah. your shoes outside the door. Yeah. And like sanitize the bottom of your shoes. I don't know. We just, we need to be careful. Yeah. So what did you do now? You threw in other stuff. Yeah, I just threw in the carrots and the onions along with all of these, um, the cumin seeds and the cinnamon stick. And soon I'm gonna throw in the rest of the spices and the rice. So this is just a very easy biryani in a hurry recipe. While she's making that, like check out this bunny suit. Yeah, this is, I, actually, I think it's a unicorn, isn't it? It's a unicorn. Because what is this? I don't know, what is that, Irene? <laughs> Looks a little weird. Well, what is that thing? Hmm. Okay, 
friends, I'm putting in the spices. So I've got here salt, I've got chili powder, I've got turmeric. You need your turmeric, okay? You need to uh, get your immune system nice and strong. We got some garam masala and some cardamom. So that's a whole lot of spices because I'm feeling it today. Ooh, I know. And that's now strong. we're just going to mix it all up. Yeah, just mix it. Mm, oh yeah, it smells good. Doesn't it? Tell them how good it smells. I can't smell it. What? Just no. joking, it's, it's actually really strong. It smells really strong. So how are you guys doing? Please leave a comment down below. We want to know how you're dealing with everything right now. I know it's really hard to be stuck at home and worrying all the time. Like yesterday, I was so worried. What happened to me yesterday? I got so worried about like everybody. Oh yeah, you passed out. No, about the planet that I, I, got, I got vertigo. <laughs> so I, got, I get vertigo when I get really stressed and it runs in my family actually. And then I passed out. Yeah. Because that's what happens. Yeah. Today I'm feeling much better and you just gotta stay positive. You know? We also like downloaded some games on the Xbox. Oh yeah. And now our new thing, like at nights, is for me to play the Xbox, and then she's gonna watch me play some games. I don't know, is this like, girls out there who are watching, do your boyfriends- Play games? Want you to watch them play games? Like, as if I have nothing else to do, I'm gonna sit there well, if I'm playing, for like two hours. If I'm playing Resident Evil 2 and there's zombies and <laughs> like, I can't play it alone in the dark. No, but the, what was the Lara Croft last night? Yeah, you, now we're playing Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Yeah. It's actually an Tomb older Raider, game. Tomb Raider, I yeah. actually enjoyed, I enjoyed that. It's fun. Yeah. I'm just gonna add these uh, frozen veggies. I got green peas here. Putting in some green beans. Great. So I'm adding the water. Oh yeah. And then I'm gonna add the rice. Oh, oh. And now? And now I'm gonna mix it up. And guys, I'm just gonna cook this until like 70% cooked. And then I'm gonna stick it in the oven. Okay, so I sprouted some chickpeas. They're right here. And I am just going to dump this in there because we are making a chickpea salad, right? So we're just gonna add in some red peppers, which have a lot of vitamin C and some parsley as well. Oh yes, fresh food, delicious. I'm just gonna squeeze some fresh lemon. These are, lemons are from Cyprus. And if you visit during this time of the year, you'll notice that they're still on the trees and all around the neighborhoods, which is really nice to see. So this is the sprouted chickpea salad with red peppers and parsley and a lot of lemon juice, some vinegar, and a little bit of hemp seed oil. And this is the biryani rice. And I have two different kinds of meatballs here. I have uh, bulgur and lentil meatballs, which are the long ones. And then these are falafels with a twist. If you guys wanna know the recipe for this, please leave a comment down below. And this is my cashew nut mayonnaise that's gonna probably go in the chickpea salad. So while Irene serves us mm -hmm. the food, closer. Let me tell you what we've been doing. So we made a schedule because you know staying indoors is not very healthy if you're staying indoors all day every day. Mm -hmm. So we thought about like all the things that we want to do and we're trying to like do them one by one every day. So we kind of put a schedule. Right. So we wake up pretty early, I should say. Like you wake up at seven, I wake up at eight. Here, let move so I can put you some rice. Yeah, sure. And um, what we're doing is we uh, like early morning, either like we work out or we go for a walk around the neighborhood. It's good to get out a little bit, go for a walk around the block. Yeah. And uh, you know, after that, like we come home, we either shoot some videos or we practice, like we practice an hour a day each, like our music. And then we play a little bit together for like another half an hour or 40 minutes. Like we play a small session of music and then we just make videos. Uh, and then also there's some gaming involved now because we've got an Xbox and we're playing some games. Well, we spend, well, she spends a lot of time cooking. Yes, I'm enjoying the time just really improvising in the kitchen. Like I've never made this chickpea salad. I just, I had sprouted chickpeas and I decided, hey, why not add some 
peppers and parsley and lemon juice and you know make a meal out of it yeah and so i love improvising and i don't know it's just it's making me happy at least yeah we also spend a lot of time on netflix <laughs> at night <laughs> yeah we found we found this uh, show like we usually watch at night it's it's called something soul uh, better call better soul call Saul. better call soul like if, you, if you haven't if you haven't seen the show you should definitely watch the show mm -hmm. it's on and netflix it's uh, it's really good. It's uh, four seasons, I believe, or five seasons, and it starts off really slow. Like the first two, three episodes are very, very slow. Like she got bored. Slow? In the beginning. No, I got depressed at the beginning. It was like the saddest, you know, first uh, episode ever. Yeah, because the, the like the main character, he's like, he's a basically yeah. like he's it's so like his life sucks so badly. Mm -hmm. But seriously, like after three episodes, it gets so good. The acting is incredible, and uh, like e every character is so believable in the role that they play. The acting is yeah, super really true. And like stuff. You want some cream? Yeah, we'll just get and and stuff just keeps happening oh, like over yeah. and over again. And every episode ends with a cliffhanger, so it's it's really cool. Like, it's addictive. Yeah, it's very. Addictive. By the way, if you're planning on having Netflix nights, one second, I'll be right back. I want to show you guys what you have to have. That's the surprise. Okay. Ben and Jerry's. Yeah, we got this from the main grocery store here in Cyprus called Alpha Mega. For those of you who are in Cyprus, get your vegan Ben and Jerry's ice cream and just, you know, Netflix and chill. Yo. Vegan Ben and Jerry's. Yeah, this one is chocolate fudge brownie the and the other amazing flavor caramel. is caramel coconut or something. Caramel coconut, yeah, that, that's even better. Like, that's even better. The reason we don't have it here is because we finished it, because it was so good. It was so, last night I just <laughs> devoured, it was so good. Yeah. So anyway, are you ready to eat? I'm ready to eat. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Be safe. Yes. Yes, be safe and stay positive and keep yourself busy, be productive, and we'll see you guys when, very soon. Yeah, so we'll see you guys next time. Stay safe, stay indoors, don't go out too much. Yes, bye. Can you stop doing that? Never.